Hello all. Welcome to this session. In this session, I'm going to answer software testing interview question 359. That is, what is fault injection testing? Let me answer. So what is fault injection testing? Fault injection testing is performed by intentionally introducing the faults to check whether the application can withstand and recover from error conditions, okay? So you can clearly understand from the statement, right? So you are injecting the faults intentionally into the application, okay? To see whether the application can withstand and recover from the error conditions, okay? You'll create such kind of error conditions in the application to check how the application is uh, reacting to it, okay? Whether the application is withstanding that uh, error conditions and able to handle the error conditions, okay? or not that is called as fault injection testing guys so we can categorize this fault injection testing into compile time and run time compile time means uh, uh, while the application code is not running okay so uh, it's like you need you know you know like before running the application okay so while the application is not not running that is compile time while the application is running that is called as run time okay so during compile time what we do is uh, as software testers, we will try to inject uh, some code, okay? Some code, we'll try to inject some code, faulty code, uh, we'll, we'll uh, a proper code will be there that we'll try to in, uh, insert some uh, faults into that, okay? Some mistakes into that uh, properly working code to see how the application is reacting, okay? To see how the application is withstanding or not, okay? So such kind of things. The future problems are error conditions that may occur, right? that we can find out by introducing faults uh, intentionally, right? Uh, by getting the different type of uh, faulty outputs, we can know how the application can withstand and recover from the error conditions which may occur in the future, okay? So here, the source code is altered a bit, okay? The source code is altered in such a way that faults will be introduced, mistakes will be introduced into the well-running programs or code, okay? Before the application is, uh, uh, running in real time, okay? Before the application is being used, the source code is altered and tested at the code level that is compile time. Coming to the runtime, guys, okay? In runtime also, while the application is running, while the application is running, we are introducing the faults into the code in the background, okay? While the application is running, while you are using the application, using the graphical user interface or whatever it is, you are in the background modifying the code, okay? Modifying the source code. Uh, and uh, this can be done on time basis. Okay, so based on time means a particular time, the source code will be mutated or altered. Okay, the faulty code will be introduced while the application is running based on a particular time. Okay, interruption based means event based case. Okay, so a particular action is happening. At that time, you want to interrupt that action from happening. Okay, you will try to introduce the faulty code into the application. Let's say you're trying to add a user or something and uh, you will try to introduce faulty code while the application is running into that section of the code and see how the application is uh, withstanding and recovering from the error conditions, okay? And we can know how, uh, what are the future outputs and outcomes, okay? By introducing, by introducing some faults, we can improvise our code, guys, okay? The software code can be improvised to, uh, by checking how the application is withstanding and recovering based on the outcomes and all. We can improvise the application, okay? By knowing the failures, we can make our program more better, okay? Of the application more better. And uh, this is called as fault injection testing where the code will be mutated, guys, either during the compile time or while the application is running, that is runtime. Okay, so this is all about the fault injection testing. So that's all for this session. In the next session, I'm going to answer another software testing interview question for you. Till then, see you. Bye-bye.